Hello, Pom Pom Gang. Welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. My name is Shantae, aka Handyman Clarence. And right now we are in the middle of a Handyman Clarence takeover. Now, just to recap of who Handyman Clarence is, he is my alter ego who loves to do home renovations. So on last week's uh, episode of Handyman Clearance. We restained my butcher block countertop as well as installed a brand new backsplash. <laughs> today so all of that has been caulked once it is painted white it will look so seamless and beautiful i went ahead and did this one too so we couldn't really see the line there you can still kind of see it but it's okay i'm not hung up on it i also went ahead and sealed around the counters as well so that this doesn't do a bunch of wobbling i uh did all of that caulking all around the window sill. I do have some mistakes. I want to point them out because I don't want anybody to think that I'm like perfect at this stuff. So right here, you can see this is a cut that I messed up. So I tried to um, caulk the the seam of it pretty much. Um, it's not extremely noticeable. It's noticeable to me, of course, because I know it's there, but nothing like crazy. It's, it's up there in the ceiling. I don't see anybody come in to like inspect it or anything like that. So, and the same thing over here, that gap wasn't as bad as that one over there. So I left this one alone. Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, we definitely did make some mistakes when applying this backsplash, but this was our very first time installing a backsplash. And I think we did a hell of a good job. And this week's episode of Handyman Clearance, we will be building my new butcher block countertops to create my new counters and my new breakfast bar for the other side of the kitchen where we installed our brand new cabinets. So yes, it is all coming together so nicely and I'm just excited. When building my countertop, I take two by six boards and cut them down to five inches thick. So I have a nice straight edge to combine all these boards together to get the width of my new countertop for my kitchen bar. Once the wood has been cut down to size, I sand them down nice and smooth. And then I take a Craig pocket screw jig that you can purchase from Lowe's, very inexpensive and a very handy tool to drill the pocket hole screws on the underside of of the counter surface. I will secure the planks together using Craig screw wood screws and wood glue and we are going to allow the wood glue to dry overnight so we will let these sit here chill out and then we'll come back the next morning to finish them off. Fresh new counters have been completely made they are all done there are our new cabinets our new counters this is wood fill so some of my cuts didn't come out completely straight they had some really really big gaps between them. a little bit too wide so i just went ahead and wood filled like this one was really wide as you can see all that wood fill right there so that's what the, all these patches are these are just the wood fill this one had like a dent in it so i tried to fill that in as much as possible looks really good i'm super excited about my new counters and bar so on this side of the bar i will be cutting some one by fours or two by fours with whatever our scrap wood I have left over in the garage and I'll be installing some braces I'll probably do about one probably the two one here and one at the end just to give this some more sturdiness like it is pretty sturdy but I have three kids so of course what seems to be sturdy and durable kids can find a way to tear it up I haven't screwed the counters together these two counters will um, these two pieces will be screwed in together right through here. I already drilled pocket screw holes on this side, underside of this counter. So I have one, two, and three pocket screws on the underside of the counter. That we will take some two inch wood screws and fasten it together to this counter. That way it is anchored to the nice big counter. Move out the way. I just got done screwing these two inch Craig nails into the pocket hole screws that we 
uh, did on the underside of uh, the counters. So I did a screw here, a screw there, a screw here and here. I put the three screws to go into this counter so it holds it together. So I have a screw here, a screw there, as well as a screw up here. And as you see, I have a gap right here that it just didn't mesh very well with the two pieces meeting. No biggie, I'm just going to get some wood filler like we did on these other big gaps and just fill that in, let it dry overnight, and then we'll stain it tomorrow. For the big bar, like I can't even get the entire thing <laughs> in the focus without, okay, so I screwed underneath this counter to uh, secure it to the cabinet. I screwed right here in this corner as well as up here in this corner and I did one back there in that corner and one up here in this cabinet to secure it as well. Uh, I went ahead and ordered my bar stools today as well. I can't wait for those to come in so I can show y'all. All right, so I have just got done staining the bar slash counter. Um, and it looks really good. I just wiped off the excess, so we'll have to let it dry for at least 10 to 12 hours before we can um, put the top coat on. It's still wet, so you're getting a lot of kickback and shine from it being wet, but you can still see all of the wood. Um, I made sure I put a nice thick coat on there. I let it sit for probably about 10 minutes. Um, I didn't let it sit too long like I had to do for these counters. I let those sit for like 30 minutes before I wiped off the excess. So yep, it's looking good. We're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna kick the girls out the kitchen for the rest of the day pretty much. It is at five o'clock so yeah, this won't be ready to stain the top coat until tomorrow morning. The following day after our stain has completely dried, we allowed it to dry overnight. So it took about 10 to 12 hours for it to dry. I am now going in with my polyurethane, my top coat, that clear coat. It's going to give it its nice shine. I decided to go in with the Clear Satin by Minwax, which is the same brand that I use for the gel stain. And I forgot that I didn't even show the gel stain or what color and type that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and insert and clip for you guys to see that as well now I go in using a foam roller to install my polyurethane when I use go in with the stain I use a staining pad that you can also purchase from the hardware store and when I go in with my polyurethane I decide to use a foam roller I feel like the foam roller just lays it on really really thick that way I don't have to really go in with a second coat so <laughs> That's just kind of me trying to cheat my way of having to do a second coat and it works. It, it comes out really nice and thick and I have that nice shine that I want for my countertops. So we're going to allow this to sit overnight and our counters are done. We are done with all our counters. I now have a completely new kitchen bar. I am so in love. So if you like this video so far, you're still sticking with us to find out how this kitchen renovation is going. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos because I probably have about three or four more videos to go along in this series as we complete our kitchen and dining room set. I'm going to allow the top coat to completely dry because we are now moving on to installing our backsplash. So in the last backsplash video, I didn't really show how we installed the backsplash to the wall. And that's because this was our first time working with peel and stick tile, tile to begin with anyway. And I didn't want to record us messing it up pretty much because we ran into a lot of problems. This was our very first time ever working with tile. So we finally found our niche. We knew and what to expect once we moved to the second half of the wall. So we're using the peel and stick mosaic tile made out of real stone. I wanted to, my backsplash to still look somewhat authentic. I was, I didn't like the sticker looking backsplash. So we went with this stone 
pill and stick backsplash and we had to use towel nippers and a miter saw in order to cut the towel to size now luckily it's a mosaic so when it comes to having to cut around corners around the outlets and all that we could pretty much just take our towel nipper or some scissors to cut off small pieces of tile to make it fit to how we wanted it to install the backsplash you have to wet the back of the sticker part pretty much and what that water is doing is pretty much giving you time to adjust your sheet of tile to the wall that way it fits perfectly because this sticker stuff like soon as you set it on the wall it is done for it is on the wall so that water spraying water on the back of it gives you time to pretty much allows any error for you to put the towel on the wall correctly and then once the water dries the towel is on the wall it ain't going nowhere it ain't budging it's there and trying to remove it it's gonna just tear up the wall the next thing to do was to finish off the backsplash so what i did was take leftover tile pieces and align them vertically up the wall so you can pretty much can tell where the backsplash is going to begin and end and some videos they tell you to use like a bull nose and these tiles didn't really come with that so this was just my way of finishing off our backsplash now as you can see we have a couple of little holes there that we're filling in all we're doing is taking uh, some towel nippers and some scissors and cutting the towel to size so it can fill up those small pieces or small gaps that were left out from the pieces just not meshing well together and once we pop those suckers right in it looks terrific it looks great you can't even tell it looks awesome <laughs> <laughs> so backsplash is done for the opposite side of the wall and it looks spunctaculous i just finished spackling the sides and where the counter and backsplash meet Woo child. we are done with our counters that's it we'll be back next week for you guys to see is still working on the kitchen so <laughs> next week we will be working on the upper shelves on the cabinets i will be building those as well as painting our cabinets what paints i use and how i prep and all that good stuff so this is before all of our diligent hard work two years in the making and the wonderless wonderless wonderfulest wonder wonderless after the great after look at that color look at that color it looks so good i am just so proud of myself handyman clarence just be really doing the most okay i really need to to like go in on my own business and just start renovating people no i'm not even i'm not even that good all of this stuff is self-taught please do not take me as a professional i am not a professional i am just a mom who has an alter ego that is that is it and that backsplash though <laughs> hey that backsplash that backsplash looks great i am very very happy so thank you pompon gay thank you for joining us on a another handyman clearance takeover we will see y'all next sunday for the follow-up video peace and be blessed